breaking news. By the way, before you say anything, it's safe. The firefighters actually escorted me. They said that I can come down here. Looks like some wind came through and caused a mess. Power line's down. As a matter of fact, it looks like this whole row of power lines is way down. Fell completely down and it's strewn right across these semi trucks. Honestly, it's nuts. The drone footage is definitely gonna tell you the story a little bit better. Must be at least 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six or seven poles are snapped at various parts along their thing. And, and you know what? It's a mess. These things are called circuit breakers, what you're looking at right now. Just like the circuit breakers at home, basically, when they get overheated or some function of that sort, causes them to disconnect the entire source of power. Anyway, more breaking news. That's, that's the life of a cameraman. And uh, here's a friendly tip from your local Hey Cameraman. When there is an incident like this and the power is out, if you get to an intersection like this one, and as you can see, the lights are completely out, you're supposed to treat it like a four-way stop sign. Everybody needs to stop. That person needs to stop. That person needs to stop. This person needed to stop, but you gotta stop. Just stop, 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 stop. Everybody. If it's a broken light, you gotta stop. It actually only takes a little bit longer than normal if you treat it that way. All right, on to the next thing. Let's pick it up from where we left off at the last vlog. We were in the middle of Rachel's discovery flight. So then after that, we um, just go through a normal pre-flight. What's the purpose of a discovery flight? For that, I asked pilot Shelly, our old friend from the previous vlogs, to come in and explain that for us. Discovery flight is to make sure that you actually like flying before you make the commitment of learning how to fly. Most people have, you know, the jets in mind or, um, you know, the big commercial airplanes, which is great. That's probably where you're going to end up but you're gonna spend a lot of your time in a little Cessna. Right now, instructor Kylie is teaching my sister Rachel how to pre-flight check an airplane. Kylie is showing her the pre-flight inspection, which is something that we have to do before every flight. On a discovery flight, sometimes we'll show the student, sometimes we won't, sometimes we'll just do it for them because that would maximize their time in the air. This is gonna be your headset right here. All right, so just set that there for now. I'll let you know when you get that on. Okay. Move your seat forward so there's a little thing at the bottom and go ahead and scoot it forward just like a car. Yeah, as you can see, safety is number one with all the pilots here. And then we have a shoulder harness right here. I'm just gonna put it over your head there. And that's why and it takes so long to get ready. Left to right. And as one of my instructors, Danny, told me once, you don't ever need to get in a hurry to fly. Try to pre-flight as if it's a game, like you're trying to find something wrong with the airplane, and if you find something wrong with the airplane and don't get to fly today, pat yourself on the back because, hey, you did a good job keeping yourself safe. This is great. You're up there having a good time, and of course, we're down here watching. So, Kylie is probably letting Rachel do some flying right now. She's just kind of showing her that her hands are not on the controls, that Rachel's the one flying the airplane. You know, up at a safe altitude, perfectly safe. Just kind of letting her get a feel for what kind of controls the airplane can handle. Okay, they're almost back. They're right there. somebody's bank account. And it was way more fun than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Kylie, are you okay if I ask you a question real quick? Uh, All right. How'd she do? <laughs> really well, really well. <laughs> the radio call was spot on. Did she do the radio call? I missed it. No, I missed it. Oh, what I happened? I screwed it up. I what screwed happened? it up. I'm like, what do I say? What do I say? It's a great thing to take someone up on their first flight, especially when it's a great flight, when it's nice and smooth, when they really just love it. It's, it's kind of the you know start of a passion, which is really cool to be a part of. All 
right, I figured while I, while I was up here, I'd go for a run at the airport. Beautiful out here. Of course, I like being around airplanes and aviation and all that, so this is a perfect place. And they got so much land here at the Rocky Mountain Metropolitan Airport that I just couldn't resist. And I'm gonna show you something that I found along my run. It's kind of funny. It has to do with planes and uh, snakes. Thanks so much for watching. Big shout out to my friend Isaac. He just started a new podcast called the Unraveling Onion Podcast. Please check it out. If you're here and you aren't a subscriber yet and you like this vlog, please hit subscribe and maybe even hit the little little bell there if you see me on the streets or really any one of us on the streets regardless of what we do for a living please be sure to say hey cameraman and i'm sure we'll all have some fun bye